Today's psalm, Psalm 108, is just a lovely short little psalm, but full of wonderful key things for us. Um, I suppose you could put them in three categories. First of all, praise, the first few verses, then God's promises, uh, and then a prayer, trusting in those promises. But right at the beginning, this section on praise, it always um, brings a wry smile to me as I read uh, one of these verses especially. I remember being in my first church and I remember sometimes having a few challenges with some of the more traditional um, people and I introduced a new song. Um, now it may not on reflection have been the best of new songs but I remember someone really getting cross and remonstrating with me afterwards about that particular song saying What's this nonsense that we're singing? For example, what about that line? I've never even heard of it, it's not in the Bible. We will sing songs that awaken the dawn. I remember a good friend was working with the church that year, Tim, and a day or two later, he happened to be reading this Psalm. And he read verse two, where the Psalmist talks about singing songs that will awaken the dawn. <laughs> Um, yes, I was tempted to, to go around to that person who'd been remonstrating with me and say, oh, look, I've just been reading in my Bible this morning. But fortunately, I um, restrained myself. But I've always looked at it and it has made me smile and the song probably wasn't a great song. But the truth is here that we as God's people are to sing songs that will even awaken the dawn. What, what does that mean? Well. We're to be the first that gives God praise. Every morning, and especially in the summer at the moment, maybe you're woken up very early with the light and the birds um, singing. Uh, but as God's people, that, that, that's to be our priority. We're those that praise him. And as the psalm uh, reflects on praise for the first few verses, well, why do we do that? Well, because of the wonderful promises there uh, that we've got in verses six to nine. And it's so, uh, the psalmist is saying and, and it's not a bad thing to do hey lord i i'm, I'm just remembering i'm just reflecting um all these wonderful promises that you've given me can, can they be true of me but then the final section is this prayer just stepping back and trusting in those promises that are available to us as god's people his great power and then let me just finish with going back to, to verse four. What a great, great verse. The, the greatness of God's love, it's higher than the heavens and his faithfulness reaches to the skies. That's a long, wonderful way. Praise his name.